Okay, today I'm going to teach you guys about phase cancellation with sound waves. So for my first example, I'm going to use the snare drum on my drum set. And what I have set up here is I have one microphone on the top of the drum pointed directly at the batter head. And when people record the snare drum, usually that's all they need. That's the most common way to record it is just stick one microphone on top of it. And that will pick it up pretty good. But some people like to add a second microphone on the bottom of the drum to pick up the snare sound uh, because what makes the snare drum unique is it has snare wires that run across the bottom of it and that is what gives it its poppy sound compared to the other drums that do not have wires running across the bottom. The problem with recording that way is that you get phase cancellation problems because when you strike the top head, the batter head, uh, it moves towards the floor. And that pushes air through the drum, and then that pushes the bottom head towards the floor as well. So both heads are moving with each other, uh, except this microphone picks up its drum head is moving away from it, while this drum head, or this microphone, picks up its drum head is moving towards it. So basically one microphone will be at its peak or its uh, crest while the other microphone is at its trough because they're picking up the drum heads exactly opposite from each other. And that leads to phase cancellation with the sound waves and that kind of makes the drum sound thin and kind of junky. It cuts out a lot of the low end and beef of it. Uh, so what I've done is I already recorded a clip of me playing the drums on the computer. So we're going to go over and take a look at the sound waves and see how they are out of phase with each other.